Pistons fans, what's up? It's your boy. I am going to make a video today. I am going to make a video today. Um, I was very, very pleased with what I saw today, man. Um, yeah, we took an L. That's expected. Um, literally, almost half of our lineup is, is missing right now. So, uh, they decided to Blake, uh, the rest Blake Griffin which I believe is, uh, you know, more of a chess type of thing, you know, playing chess with Philly because they rested in B. Um, I think that's what's going on here. But they say it's rest. You know, Blake been doing a lot of a lot of work lately, you know. Um, you want to keep him healthy this season. So I can also see that too. Um, with that being said, the saga tonight with MB and Drummond. Listen, two straight games, Drummond been a beast out there. I'm interested to hear uh, Motor City dumbass make a video about Drummond today. Because he made one steal. Even after, you know, yesterday against Anthony Davis, still he decides to make a video to bash Dre. And Dre alone. This guy has some type of perpetual hate with Andre Drummond. I have some type of perpetual hate with his YouTube channel. This guy is the worst YouTuber I have ever seen talk sports. Ever seen talk sports, especially Detroit sports. Nothing he says makes sense, flat out. Um, And that's just that, man. I'm going to call it like I see it. I mean, it's nothing personal with the dude, but dude, your channel suck, flat out. <laughs> with that being said Drummond Beast tonight Hands down Whoop Joel and B Behind tonight Flat out <laughs> Joel, and Bill, Joel and B Didn't want no parts of Drummond He was waiting for them whistles You see when When the refs gave Drummond That technical When he was just Throwing the ref the ball And he wasn't paying attention They gave him that technical You seen MB was Boy He was ecstatic over there That's why MB celebrates so much. He doesn't want Drummond in the game because Drummond is 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 it's a tough matchup for him, man. You know, MB likes to play mind games. That's his advantage. It's not um all skill set with him. You know, MB has proven not to be a three point shooter. He'll shoot them here and there, but he they they just don't fall. Um so with him being a, a guy that has to go on the post. Um, Drummond was all over him tonight. Drummond was blocking his shot, pinning it to the backboard. And B was taking fade away 15 footers. Wasn't nothing working, man. And he was frustrated. He was clearly frustrated. Um, and Drummond got the best of him tonight. So in this match, Drummond wins. Um, Drummond, two consecutive nights against probably what you can say is the two top centers in the NBA since DeMarcus Cousins went down, um, had two beastly performances, flat out. I don't know how you argue against that. Your boy Motor City Sports Talk probably will. I mean, but it is what it is. That should, I mean, you should. that should be enough for people to shut up for a while. Just shut up, shut your mouth about Andre Drummond, man. Circumstances plays a part. And how he performs, um, you know, there is times where you know his effort could be better, but there's a there's times where a lot of NBA players' effort could be better, flat out. I mean, so Blake Griffin didn't play tonight. Um, I I have to say, if if Blake Griffin and if we had our pieces tonight, we definitely would have beat Philly, man. No question, hands down, we would have beat him. We brought the game as close as within three with this roster, this depleted roster that we got. Um, but it, it sprung benefits because Luke Kennard has returned again. He has once returned. He returned to uh, form, uh, you know, where he was before he got injured and took it even farther tonight. 28 points from Luke Kennard, man. Knocked down threes everywhere. Boy was balling tonight. Gotta be aggressive, man. GR3 is the most unaggressive guy on the team, but Luke Kennard came aggressive tonight. Henry Ellison came aggressive tonight. 
these two young guys, they was balling tonight, man. And it was a beautiful sight to see. And you know, with the injury situation with all these ankles and stuff like this, man, I'm 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 actually not mad at that. You know why? Because these young guys are getting the opportunity to show what they have, man. And you know, uh, uh, Zach Lofton will be called up uh, for next game, so we'll get a chance to see Zach Lofton. Um, it also proved today that John Luer, who I told y'all to remember at the beginning of the season, I said John Luer will be start to become a solid player for the Detroit Pistons again. You saw some of that tonight. Um, John Luer, for another game, has played solid. Um, you know, and, and that is very encouraging to see because that disaster that people be trying to stick up for called Zaza Pachulia, it is no reason this man should get a minute on the court. He should be mentoring on the bench. This guy is the absolute worst, bro. <laughs> He, I mean, you talking about literally just throwing the ball up. This dude was tossing the ball at the. I'm mean, man. It was, dude. Listen, <laughs> listen, man. You got to keep Zaza out the game, bro. Zaza, your time is up. Hey, bring Johnny Hamilton up from the D, uh, the G League, man. You can do that before Zaza touched the ball again. That guy is horrid, man. <laughs> um. Jose Calderon was pretty much, you know, the backup today. Of course, you know we need more. You know, I appreciate Calderon because he's an older player. He's one of the oldest players, if not the oldest player playing, uh, one of them. But, you know, he came out there and he gave effort, you know. Uh, you know, this whole squad gave effort, man. Multiple times that, 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 you know, they fought and they scratched and they came back when they could have easily just let them blow us out by 40. They came and they fought back, man. And that's what you want to see when you got a depleted roster like that. That's what you want to see from your young guys, man. And Drummond led him. He led them, man. You know, uh, you know, playing the way he did on both ends of the court. Both ends of the court. Um that was big, big time for me today. So I was definitely happy to watch uh, what I saw today. Um, the wins and losses right now, we're going to take losses right now because we're down a lot of players, a lot of players. Uh, all the biggest pieces, um, you know, that have the, some of the biggest parts of this roster are out, being Stanley Johnson, Ish Smith, Reggie Bullock, and Blake Griffin being out this game, man, so... Uh, definitely looking for more of the, the, this this type of enthusiasm and play from these young guys, man. And, you know, we'll see what happens from there. Of course, our schedule is tough. This is the toughest part of the schedule, but our our, our schedule will get really uh, light after we go through these, you know, these tough battles, man, uh, with these, these top teams in the league. Um, so, like I said, it's a long season. We only been through a quarter of it. Hey, the Pistons going to be all right. They're going to be all right, man. they definitely going to be all right. Um, they'll continue to develop. Probably a, a slight move here and there for some more shooters. Um, and the Pistons will be right there, right there in the thick of everything. So uh, with that being said, I just wanted to, you know, hearken on what, what happened today and, um, you know, just making known that it's trash YouTubers out here, man. <laughs> and y'all need to stop fucking watching this guy's videos. It's unbelievable. It's got to, got two thousand people listening to him. Unbelievable. But anyway, um, man, shout out to everybody on Twitter, man. I'd be going back and forth with um, everybody that watched this video. I appreciate y'all taking the time to watch it. It's your boy, y'all already know where I'm headed. I'll catch up with y'all later.